Welcome back to Krakow, the Tauron Arena here in Poland's second city and the hosts of the Dennis Bank CEV Champions League for men final for 2016 and the final is all we have left to play between the defending champions Zenit Kazan and Italy's Trentino Diatek. It's been five years since Trentino Diatek and Zenit Kazan played each other for Europe's most coveted volleyball crown. They contest the gold medal match again this time round. 22,137 fans watched the semi-finals at the Tauron Arena yesterday. And we will have an equal amount in when the numbers are released for tomorrow. Five years ago, Trentino completed a hat-trick of titles in their golden era. But it was the next year that Zenit managed to win their second title, defeating Trentino in the semi-finals. There are a few players in this squad who remain from that victorious side in Vuj. They'd won the previous title in Vuj as well. Vladimir Elekno overseeing their victory as well in Berlin a year ago. And now they find themselves on the cusp of greatness once more. Standing in their way, Trentino Diatek. The blocking capabilities of Sebastian Sole and Simon van der Voorde. Alongside the likes of Simone Gianelli, the setter Oleg Antonov with his immense power and Mita Zoritz, the opposite hitter from Greece, who could well end up MVP if they come out on top. So, Zenit Kazan defeated 3-1 in Bolzano back in 2009 when these two contested the gold medal match. A year later, at the semi-final stage, it was Kazan winning by the same margin before they went on to win an extraordinary gold medal match against Skra Biltoho. The Russian teams have been the dominant force over the last four years in this competition. Kazan winning in 2012 and 2015, Lokomotiv Novosibirsk winning in 2013, and Belgori Belgorod in 2014. It'll be the sixth time the gold medal match has been decided between Russia and Italy since the CEV Volleyball Champions League was established back in the 2001 season. Tarantino edged Dinamo Moscow and Zenit Kazan in the 2010 and 2011 finals. Zenit had the upper hand over Copra Piacenza in 2008. Now the two Russian-Italian finals contested 2003 and 2013. Belgorod and Novosibirsk winning against Modena and Cuneo. Zenit Kazan have already secured the title in Russia in that highly competitive league. Trentino, well, they're going to have to come back from 2-0 down in their playoff if they're going to find any way of claiming some silverware domestically. Lost in the Italian Cup against Modena. And they find themselves staring down the battle and staring down the, the barrel as well. So much class on show, one just feels that Zenit have that many more game changes and game winners, especially from the service line. We saw it yesterday. Matthew Anderson possesses a venomous serve. We saw it with Andre Ashev able to put a run together on serve. Igor Kobzar, who was the setter from set two onwards in place of Alexander Budko and still have the likes of Maxim Mihailov and of course Wilfredo Leon who in spite of having a quieter game yesterday still topped the scoring charts that is just how incredible the talent is of the young Cuban just 22 years of age and still causing so many tremors throughout the game
Danny Kazan against Trentino Dietek. It is the Dennis Bank CV Champions League men's final for 2016. Two of the most successful teams in this competition's history, both with three titles. So we are to meet our officials for this final, and they are Arti Hutanichka from Finland and Fabrice Kolados from France. Time then to meet the starting teams. Mary Anderson, first out, on to the court, joined by his captain, the vastly experienced Andre Ashev. Wilfredo Leon comes to, dropping his small ball, and then starting setter, Igor Kobza after his success yesterday. Then, Alexander Gutsalyuk and Maxim Mihailov. The libero likely to play the bigger part, Alexey Vervov. If yesterday's anything to go by, but he will be joined by Teodor Salparov as well. Out on the court. This is how they'll line up with Gutsalyuk in position one. Leon two, Mikhailov three, Ashev four, Addison five, and Kopja in six to start. Trentino, the attack then, will be led out onto the court by Oleg Antonov. Next out, Simone Gianelli, their setter. Sebastian Sole, the Argentine international. Mita Zoritz, the Greek international. The next there, Simon van der Voorde from Belgium. And then Tine Urnaut before their libero, who had an outstanding performance yesterday up against compatriots. Civitanova, Massimo Colacci. Van der Voorde in position one. Antonov two, Zuric three, Sole four, Urnaut in five, and Gianelli starting in six. Is there any way to stop Zenit Kazan? We will find out over the course of the match. First man out. In preparation to get things underway is going to be Tine Urnaut. Served well yesterday. Zenit Kazan. Much of the pressure is on them, but they have so many big game players. How will they deal with the block that Tarantino will put up? Kopcha sets to Mihailov. It wasn't a great set from Kopcha to start things off. Gianelli manages to get it through the middle, and Tarantino have the first point. out off the top of the net, Leon underneath it, Kobja sets again for Mihailov, half blocked, Kolacci with a bump set for Zuritz, he gets the touch, 2-0.
and seven well, not again Verbov takes that one down Anderson comes through the middle is blocked Kopchar's there Verbov again Leon with his first touch and it's a good touch Ashev will serve first. Taken down by Ordenout, one-handed for Solitz. up by Leon and he gets back up onto his feet but that's half blocked or not is there so it just rolls it home he's having a very good start to this match indeed and he was very impressive against Chivitanova yesterday Stoichev will be very happy with the way that things have started here. Leon with his second point. Vladimir Alekno knows that his team certainly have a match on their hands. Mihailov. Goes long. underneath it, Kovzar, Leon again, to line at the back of the court. To bunt it back in, Verbal was underneath it, Kovzar can go again, and that's an easy point in the end. Good Seljuk with the kill. Far side and Antonov is there. Oh, it's a great dig from Karachi. And now not able to get the power he wanted on it. Leon up to Kobjar, which sees Anderson rise and good power from him. Touched over, this will be a chance. Anderson. Gianelli again. Oh, that's cleverly done by Ornaut. touch and wide now is there being a challenge first I have a feeling that Alekno has gone to challenge Decision upheld, so we arrive at the first technical. Makes pretty viewing for those supporters of Trentino Diatek. They lead 8 4. 
Это все хорошо наверху, но это не та атака, чтобы выиграть. Бьет атаку, это диагонально. Видели, как ударил? Он бил, чтобы выиграть. Это ты, это Антонов бил, чтобы выиграть. Мы договори, договорились на блоке более агрессивно. Куда бьют в этой? Чемпионатский ударик на верх блока. Агрессивные руки на ту сторону. Это вам нужно So, taken down by Anderson. Cobbs are. It's going to be kept alive. Or now just touches over. Wilfredo Leon was there. Kept alive again by Ornaut. Double touch given against Antonov. Cobbs out on serve. Play and Solik manages to make the kill. Simone Gianelli makes man to serve. Taken down by Wilfred Leon in at Cobzar and Leon rises again and makes it look so easy. to the net. Slickly done and Sole with the kill. So they serve though, push long. or Mita Juric, whichever you prefer, born in Sarajevo. Greek parents, so you choose what his name is. He now serves. Taken down by Verbov. Well, Kobja sets to Mihailov. Nine points in a row, just straight side outs. Frodo Leon hasn't quite started to fire.
Oleg Antonov ready to serve. Ace, no, just wide. Kalachi kept it short, and Van der Voorde, who's been used sparingly, manages to power at home. Touch, but as it was, chance slips by. And it's an ace serve from Kobja. Serve. Kalachi takes this one down better. Or now just touches it home. Gianelli serve, taken down. Kobja sets across to Mihailov. <laughs> Timeout taken by Trentino. Out. That's a great pass, so it's unable to get it in. Kovacar back to Leon. Another important point back. Second technical timeout. Two points at the difference now. It's going to be nervous times in the run into the end of the set.
And that's uh, taken down. Not perfectly by Anderson, but still well dealt with. Now Leon Spike hasn't gone away. Kolachi back to Toritz. And he's there to make it. Little half chances have to be converted. Out again in on Anderson. Kozbar reverse to Mihailov and he finds the court. Andrei Ashev. Emphatically done by Sole. Serve. Kalachi waits for it. Manages to take down. Gianelli sets to that far side. Antonov. Well, they're going to challenge because they feel that there was no touch on the way through. Ball's definitely long. The question is now whether there was a touch. Well, now the question being asked is that there was a touch. And they want to challenge the touch. And now it's coming across to say you can only have one challenge per point. So the point has gone the way of Zenit. That is a controversial moment because I don't think that Trentino felt that that had gone in anyway. They felt that it was a touch. Definitely a feeling that the challenge system needs a lot of work. It has not been too slick in the way that it's been used. Mihailov off the top of the net, Horn out underneath it. Gianelli sets to the far side where Antonov gets in. Suric with the serve, well taken down. Kopchar sets to Mihailov, who just touches over, and that was perfectly done. And Van der Voorde will be furious, and that ran down his front. Well, for now, I think the danger is that he's going to start firing in a minute. Fires there, it's a brilliant serve. And it earns them the point, and we're all square at 19 points apiece.
Time out taken by Tenetino. Massive serve from Wilfredo Leon. Galacci gets in to make the pass. Will only be forced back over the net. Verbov is there. Kobjar over on two. Sets off on his own for a little run around the court. Turn it, turn it around. Leon goes long, so 20 points apiece. An observe is going to be an ace. No, it's not. Brilliant work from Verbov to keep that alive. Colacci, Gianelli. This time the kill's made by Ornaut. Trentino get their nose is back in front. So far, we are being treated to a high quality final. Now, this time taken by Zenit Kazan. Antonov again on serve. Blazes this one long. 21 points apiece at the business end of the first set. Politev comes on to replace Katsaliuk. Taken down by Antonov. Gianelli sets for Zuritz, half blocked, kept alive. Kobza sets for Anderson. Dug out well. Gianelli's across to that. Urnaut. Colacci underneath it. Longest rally of the match so far. Zuritz goes through. Gets the touch. Katsaliuk returns. Van der Voorde is uh, taken down by Anderson. Suritz was underneath it. So frustrated he didn't get a better contact on the dig.
Kopchar, Gianelli. So it's blocked wide. Alexander Budko comes on to replace Kobja. Simone Gianelli on serve. Manfredo Leon's there, Bucco kept alive. Colacci. Mihailov rose so well there. 23 points apiece. Anderson serve, well taken down. So it's the opposite, earns them the first set point. <laughs> Time out taken by Zenit Kazan, they had that one in the bank. It's an ace, and there is the opening set. Zenit will have to come back from a set down for the second day in a row. They did it successfully yesterday. But Trentino take the opener, 25-23.
Leon starts well with a big serve. <laughs> Next one goes long. Off, put co. Too much power from Anderson. Gianelli and Sole. Watches on as Van der Voorde powers that one through. But Surin's serve goes horribly wrong. Power from Gianelli this time at the net. But go Anderson. Perfect side out volleyball from both teams so far. The exception of that point one. And I've heard it. And it's an ace serve. Just catches them by surprise. Leon underneath it. Butko sets back to Leon. Half kept alive. Antonov not getting enough on it. Serve. Wasn't the greatest reception. Gianelli does well. So it's not enough power, but go underneath this one now. Asheshev. Mihailov. So shrewd.
plenty of room. Just off the top of the net, Matty Anderson underneath it, Bubko sets to Leon again. He's certainly warming up. Maxim Mihailov now. I don't think got a touch. They want a challenge straight away. There is a touch off the finger. It will be turned over. Seven points apiece. Uh, straight into the net, so we arrive at the first technical timeout, set number two. Senek Kazan up by one, eight seven, trailing by a set to zero. Neat takedown. Oh, that is a great jump, dummy jump from Gianelli. <laughs> so it's a fantastic takedown from Maddie Anderson, gets the return and puts it away.
But go. Trying to get his serve going. Cobbs up. And he picked up a niggle. Now has his sweatshirt on. Antonov serve. He's long. Another serve goes long. <laughs> A serve from Van der Voorde again. Second of the set. down too well. Verbov does well to get it across to Leon and the block flies wide. Ginelli. So it's just too much power. Another point going the way there. The home fans from Jeshov starting to get behind the Trentino fans who are generating all the noise at the moment. Another fantastic serve. It's an ace from Gianelli. Three points on the bounce. They lead 15-12 in the second. Timeout taken by Kazan. Gianelli again. Off the top of the net. It's another ace. And we arrive at the second technical timeout with Trento leading 16 points to 12.
Куда надо смотреть? Да, дешевшего момента. Рискуем все нападать. Рискуем туда. Не так ошибаем полметра, чтобы это. Рискуем все нападать. А так они не могут. Они могут заплатить. Не могут предоставить дальше. И нет, например, вот как мы начинаем забывать, без попытки мяч не падает. Вот сейчас за каждый мяч. Без попытки мяч не реально не падает. А рядом, в чем разница, что Gianelli again. Good dig, Bucco sets to Leon. He manages to bring an end to that run. Mihailov serve taken down by Kalachi. Gianelli sets to the near side where Turitz was there and tried to season it, snatched at it rather. Two in a row for Zenit. Force through. Further Leon served in. Ronaldo was there. Kolacci manages to bump it to Zuritz. Good block. Decision goes against Zenit. And Vladimir Alekno wants to challenge.
turned over. Fred Leon. That's a massive block. Two on the bounce for Zenit to come back to within two. Timeout taken. Another massive serve from Wilfredo Leon. Gianelli was across to it. So it isn't going to get any power on that. Kalachi was there. Gianelli now across to Antonov and it hits the antenna. And it's just one point between the teams. Great pressure exerted from Dinamo Kazan. From Dinamo Kazan. Zenit Kazan. Leon just starting to warm up a bit more. But Zuric is there. Oh, the block lands in. The gap opens up yet again. Well put away by Anderson, very observant. Meant to serve. Simple side out needed. Simple side out converted by Ernat. So it can't get the serve. But go. Yet again, he serves into the net. And Trentino edged towards a two sets to zero lead. Serve. Ashishev 
goes through the middle. Three side outs, all that's needed. Anderson in a Kalachi. Gianelli has options. Goes for Ornat. Ornat misses. Challenge being called for. Hoping for a touch. Rodestin Stuchev. Something rather optimistic here because the images that I'm seeing, the ball has cleared the defence by a very long way indeed. Point stays. <laughs> Matty Anderson gets another crack. It's long. <laughs> Van der Voorde, caused chaos with his serve at time. Mihailovic hasn't got that away. Van der Voorde is there. Gianelli to it. Massive point to bring up three set points for a 2 0 lead. Time out taken. Van der Voorde, taken down. Leon, oh, hand underneath that from Ornaud, so close to keeping it alive. One set point saved, one side out needed. Shot returns. Rolls in his serve, taken down by Ornaut, who's back up and makes it and makes the kill. And Trentino Diedek have a two sets to zero lead over the defending champion Zenit Kazan. 25 points to 22, they win set number two, and they are one set away now from claiming an historic victory in the Champions League.
Dziękujemy bardzo. Czyli Ders Ase Kontynia za chwileczkę trzeci set finałowego spotkania. Szanowni Państwo, trzeci set wielkiego finału Ligi Emisów od Państwa. Duże brawa dla drużyny. Sędzia Kazanie, Grędy Lubiatek. Set number three then. Simple equation for Zenit. They cannot drop another one. We're now to get us underway. Great serve and straight away on the front foot here. Sole waits for it. Half blocked. Zuric touches over, but Ko flies in to keep it alive. Leon does so well. Leon serve is going to cause problems. Anderson or now can't quite keep it alive. Two on the bounce. One-handed, kept alive, Sole puts away. Not quite kept alive. Through the middle, just to ensure that that lead remains down to just the one point, but Senate will be pleased with the way they've started here. Block goes wide.
Mihailov. for Anderson so far. Leon bumps it up for Mihailov, half blocked. Here's the chance, Gianelli sets, turn out. Kept alive. Leon now, and the block is wide. Turned over on two from Gianelli. Serve well taken down by Matty Anderson. It's alive though. Gianelli sets across the order now, and they make the block. A serve from Mihailov, and it takes us into the first technical timeout of set number three, and Kazan in the best position they've been in so far at the first, 8-5 up. Punkt na 
Another side out. Kazan, 10 6 up. Giochiamo, no? Non forzare niente. Gioca come prima la battuta al tuo 6 1. Attento al lancio e giochiamo. Tutte le rotazioni con Sac ha giocato più avanti. Ok, non da primi tempi. Apri le gambe, mi va di fa l'altro di nuovo. E si è saltato un po' di fianco e è uscita. Stabilizza il corpo, il busto frontale e invadi. Si passa sopra e la difendiamo. Oh, oh, subito il side out, eh! It is another ace. And Zenit pull themselves into a position of real authority in this set now. That one goes long. It'll be a long way back for Tarantino there in this set now. Sebastian Sole. Put away. Demakov. Anderson can't dig it out. Yeah. Turrets oversteps the mark at the back. Pukko is uh, taken down well. Gianelli sets to the far side. Antonov gets the touch on the way through. Still need to win some points off their own serve. Can Antonov do that? with the bump set for Mihailov. Block, but Leon did so well to dig it out, and Anderson there, another great dig. Phenomenal defense from Zenit. Showing their true class on that point. Anderson goes long. Pukko still manages to keep it alive, and then that block goes long. Time out taken. Well, 
That's a chef taken down by Onat. Just over, and then Demikov can't quite react. Demikov comes in, Demikov makes the kill. Second technical then, and Zenit bossing this third set. They're up by five, 16-11, looking to push us into a fourth. Mihailov's serve is firing as well now. I talked about it, so many weapons, and if they do work, gives them such an edge. Leon serves worked in this set. Mihailov serves worked in this set. I need Matty Anderson serve to work as well. And they are very quickly going to be able to turn this match around. Off the top of the net, taken down better this time. Antonov. <laughs> Forced away by Demikov. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sole. Butko sets for Anderson. This time the block is good. much pressure is being applied on you the mistakes start to creep in and they have crept into Trentino's game in this set falls through Drift wide, but I think it would be fair to say that this set is done and dusted. So it's served, taken down well. Butko sets it up for Leon. Turned over on two by Gianelli. Antonov got way too much of that. Flies long. Well dug out by Kalachi. Shall I say? Lanza tries to go down the line. Putko kept it alive. Mihailov puts it across to Leon. And he manages to play it through. Cuban has been the difference. Eight set points to make it 2 1. Serve from Anderson. Lanza tries to force it round the outside, manages to. Under order. In at Leon. Who will get it back? That's blocked wide. Zener on the board. 25 points to 17. They take set number three. Now, plenty of those Russian internationals involved in Zenit's lineup have been there before. Oh, 
They played in the Olympic final against Brazil in 2012 when Alecno was coach of the men's national team. They were two sets to zero down. He changed things around as he did in that set, and they came back. They came back to win in the breaker. Now, who would bet against them doing the same here? They have posted a very, very firm message against Trentino in that third set. A dominant display now. And they take us through to a breaker. Fred Leon to get us underway in set number four. Trentino with the first point. It's going to be so important that they don't allow Zenit Kazan to run away and open up a big advantage. Butko over on two, kept alive. Or out towards the back of the court. Leon's there. Butko penalised. Anderson, who will get the return. Half block though. Bumped up. Gianelli. Forced through by Antonov. 3 0. This is the start that Trentino needed.
Just about dug out. And they managed to get it across to Ninchov. Temakov. Demikov now serves and also digs. Anderson well blocked. Leon's there. Ashishev and Butko both there. Kept alive once again. Zuritz was in the way. Antonov touches over. Mihailov underneath it. Butko for Anderson. Much better intensity out there now from both teams. So it's being marshaled well. Three points on the bounds for Zenit. Demikov serves long. And Anderson. Good go. Taken down by Ordnat. Giannelli. Touched over by Antonov. It's going to be another great chance here. Ashev. Anderson. Mihailov underneath it. Kolachi comes flying in. Gianelli to Turitz. And he is over the attack line. They cannot afford to make errors like that. Right on the line. But go. Uh, starting to fire as well now. Ornaut comes through the middle. I think there's a sense amongst the Trentino players that if they don't win this set, they're going to find it very hard to win the breaker. Again, takes down well. Butko sets that far side where Mihailov's in business. Anderson. Uh, well taken down by Colacci. Gianelli with the bump set. Great power for the Mordenauts. The Slovenian rising there. Leon. 
Nice touch. Challenge here, and I can see no touch on the net from a Trentino player. The ball takes the net, but not the hand. Trentino keep the point. Van der Voorde. Pushed up and put goes furious with himself, but it's three points in a row for Trentino and they lead by two, 8-6 and the first technical in the set four. And again, Butko sets across to Leon. And he does find the angle. Ashishev with the ball in hand. Falanchi comes flying in, Gianelli. Sole can't put it away, Butko can set up Leon. Antonov was underneath it, turned over on two by Gianelli. And underneath it, it's great work again. Mihailov was there. Gianelli. Or now. And he makes it. Taken by Vladimir Rekno. Simone Gianelli, once again. The great 
it's uh, well taken down by Leon. Mihailov on the near side. And it goes long. The serve that was such a dominant feature of Zenit's third set. Gone off the boil. Trentino looking to profit. Ornout. Taken down. Mihailov. He's gone wide. Further Leon wants it checked. <laughs> and a slap on the line. It's a very good challenge. Fredo Leon serve then. Taken down by Colacci. And this will be an interesting opportunity from Pukko to try and set it up. Anderson forces it through the block. Zen it back to within one. Good serve in. It's going to be so nervous. The remainder of this set. Which team has the belief? Sole to serve. He serves straight into the net too. get it away Mary Anderson sets it across to Mihailov and that block is wide and now it's 12 points apiece Antonov manages to get the touch. Zuritz. Anderson's pass straight across to Putko, gets the return. Anderson blocked, brilliantly kept alive, one-handed. And they force it through, it's a lot. Gentle play. Alexander 
Tied it over, Butko keeps it alive. Leon waited, instead it goes to Mihailov. That one's dug out, it's gonna go wide. The judgment's spot on. in front. <laughs> Off the top of the net from Putko. Van der Voorde can't believe the luck. Another serve from Butko, which is taken down. Gianelli sets that far side. Zuric just had to reach to get it. Salparov was underneath it. Mihailov. Zuric keeps it alive. Gianelli with the bump set. Sixteen, thirteen. Zenit at the second technical. Remember, it was 8 6 of the first for Tolentino. Definite problem at the moment for Trentino is the body language. Paco serve taken down by Colacci. They go through the medal. Van der Voorde makes it safe, but they're playing catch up again. Antonov can't make his serve uh, count. Now they need to keep the pressure on. Anderson, Kalachi gets underneath it, set by Gianelli. Ornaut gets it off the block and gets it wide. Good go. Me, I love. Thank you. 
Kopja in on Kalachi, taken down well. Gianelli gets it across to Ornaut. And that block goes into the antenna. Hang on in there. Simone Gianelli had a good run on serve earlier on in this set. What can he do here? Taken down by Anderson. Putko sets to lay on. Making it look so easy now. Mihailov goes long. Antonov returns. Run out. Sunpolov, took that down, touched over. Kalachi comes flying in. Gianelli knows this is a chance. A chance taken by Andonov. Big serve, here comes the chance. Wasn't taken down well, Gianelli sets. Antonov, that's gonna go safe. Two big plays from the Slovenian. Looks to me as though Vladimir Lechmo is gonna take a timeout here. It's their last one in this set. Uh, Salparov takes down well, Butko sets to the far side for Leon and he manages to secure the point. Zenit stay in front and now Wilfredo Leon will have the ball in his hands to serve. A serve. When you need your big players to turn up. Zenit Kazan so often have been able to see them do it. Time out taken this time by Valentino. Mm -hmm. 
Another massive serve from Wilfredo Leon, set across from Gianelli and Tanov does just enough. Change made. Daniele Mazzone. It's an ace. Selperov looks disgusted with Matty Anderson for not reacting to him. Trento fans trying to lead their team across the line. Mazzone in at Anderson, Butko back to Anderson, half block, there's going to be a little half chance here. Well, that was not a good set. Giannelli gets a better one for Antonov, and this time they take the point. Here comes a massive test of character. Gutsilyuk comes back on to replace Ivan Demakov. That's only in at Leon. Butko, Leon again. <laughs> Twenty-two apiece. As Shev comes back on for Kobza. Good sell, Yuk. It's simple side outs that they need. Leon keeps it alive though. Matty Anderson couldn't spring himself up. Gianelli, Kalachi, Zuritz. Mihailov keeps this one alive. Anderson knows he has the chance now. Pushed wide. Elekno wants to take another look at this. He wants to see if he caught a little bit of. Looks to me as though it has caught a little bit of the line. I think this point is going to go the way of Zenit. That is quite a change. 23-22 instead. Selyuk, but now it's underneath it, Antonov, he's put that long and he's put it wide, and it is set point. The Senate Kazan team do not know when they are beaten, and they have earned themselves a shot here at taking us into a breaker. Serve goes wide. Underneath it, here it comes, Anderson. The block is good. Simon 
quite extraordinary. Gianelli and Van der Voorde. Georgi Bratoyev, the Bulgarian international, will serve again. Serves into the net. Butko to serve. Butko blaze is long. Taken down, Butko and Mihailov. Earns them another set point. Anderson serve taken down well. Kalachi said that block's going to land in. So it is underneath it. Gianelli he hasn't got that right. It's round the outside. And Zenit take us into a breaker. Twenty-seven, twenty-five. Trentino will rue some missed opportunities there.
So, the 2016 CV Champions League men's final will be decided in a breaker. Wilfredo Leon with the ball in hand to get us underway, serving first in what has been a titanic struggle between two of Europe's powerhouses in volleyball. Wilfredo Leon's focus has increased in sets three and four. He has served better. He served probably his best set from this end when Zenit won their first set, set number three. He doesn't start in ideal fashion. For him, anyway. <laughs> Falls through. Good set, Yuk. Brings it back to one apiece. Gianelli. Zurich. So important they stay competitive and close in these exchanges. Trentino, 15 12 up in the first set. 15 12 up in the second set. In the third, 15 10 to Zenit. In the fourth, 15 13 to Zenit. So. All the momentum currently with the defending champions. Budko serve taken down by Renat. And just forced through by Antonov. Leon, Budko back to Leon, makes another kill. Matty Anderson. Taken down by Ornat again. So it's. They keep it alive. Push towards the back of the court. Maddie Anderson does a good job. Mihailov sets to Leon. Half blocked. Colacci's underneath it. Gianelli through the middle comes Ornat. And Butko doesn't react. There's a little half chance in that point for Zenit. And they didn't take it. that it does nothing from the service line. Four points apiece. Ashev. Gianelli with a crucial touch. Uh, take it down well, but go back across to Leon. He's blocked, and the first little half chance goes the way of Trentino. And it is 
A timeout taken by Zenit. Antonov serve taken down by Anderson. Butko reverse sets it to Mihailov. There's half a touch through there, which is good enough to carry it to safety for Zenit. Gianelli, Sole, watches on Van der Voorde with the touch. Sole now returns. That's the serve from Van der Voorde. Leon gets up, he makes the kill. Timeout taken by Trentino, first of their two, remember. Fredo Leon, taken down by Lanza. Bump pass across to Zuric, but the block is good. Back to seven points apiece. Again, Leon in at Kalachi, and Gianelli turns over on two. So as the team's change ends in the breakup, eight points to seven, the lead for Trentino. Champions League season comes down to the next 10 minutes. Gianelli served, taken down by Anderson. Butko sets it back across to the American, and he gets the touch. Comes on 
who plays Goodlishuk. Kopcha serve goes wide. So taken down by Leon Butko, kept it short, and Ashishev puts it away. So now Butko serves. Taken down by Urnaut. So it's the block is there from Anderson and Ashishev. And for the first time in the breaker, the lead goes the way of Zenit Kazan. Timeout taken by Trentino. Go again, Kalachi underneath it, neatly done. Antonov makes it. Sebastian Sole for Trentino. Butko and Leon through the middle springs forth. Is there any way to defend the Cuban when he's on song? Mary Anderson. Great serve in on Colacci. Gianelli. Punched over into the defence. Book goes there. Salparov. Mihailov. He gets it off the block, and now things looking desperate for Trentino because they're behind by two. They must side out. And the Anderson serve goes long. A marked relief there. Just long, but I think they're going to take a look at it. Yeah, 
that is long. I can see it on the screen in the challenge, and it is going to stay. Well, this is another piece of evidence that I just, I, what I don't understand is why they show it on the big screen in the stadium. On the screen that is currently being looked at, the ball is clearly out. There was just one frame where it looked as though it might have caught a line, but a yellow card now shown. Ashishev to serve. Taken down. Gianelli gets it back to Ornaut. Brilliantly kept alive by Butko. Leon. He's blocked and that's safe. Oleg Antonov with one of the biggest serves of his career. And he puts it straight into the net. It is match point for Zenit Kazan. Maxim Mihailov to serve. Mihailov goes long. The challenge has been made. This one is clearly out. And the In. Leon didn't get it away. Now there is a chance here. Van der Voorde, Gianelli, or now reaching for it. They made a mess of it. And here's the opportunity for Leon to finish it. And crown Zenit champions once again. The chance was there for Trentino to square it at 14 points apiece. But as soon as they failed to do so, and the ball lobbed its way up in front of Wilfredo Leon. There was only going to be one result. Alexander Butko wins the Champions League for the second time. He won it first with Lokomotiv Novosibirsk. He now wins it with Zenit Kazan. Five years in a row, Russian teams have won the Champions League title. It is a fourth title for Zenit. They become the first team to achieve that, and they defend their crown and they have done it the hard way. They came back from a set down to win 3-1 against Yeshov yesterday. They come back from two sets down to win in some style in the breaker 15-13 here in the final. Heartache. 
for the fans who have traveled to support Trentino heartache for their captain Lanza there was to be no fourth title for the Italian team after that golden era of three succession successive victories in the Champions League in a row It is Russian domination that continues.
Szanowni Państwo, proszę jest to krótką chwilę cierpliwości i będziemy mogli rozpoczynać całą ceremonię. Dwie, trzy minuty dosłownie. Natomiast proszę Państwa, jeszcze przed ceremonią siatkarza Sekorysowi Rzeszów są razem z nami i chcieli Państwu podziękować za znakomity klimat i atmosferę podczas turnieju. Proszę Państwa, oto oni. Raz jeszcze dziękuję Państwu za atmosferę, domin, za klimat, gospodarze finału. A sekundę są na rzeczy.
wreszcie rozpoczynać ceremonię zakończenia finałowego turnieju siatkarskiej Ligi Mistrzów w sezonie 2015-2016. Ceremonia zakończenia finałowego turnieju Ligi Mistrzów Siatkarzy w sezonie 2015-2016 zorganizowały Polski Związek Piłki Siatkowej i Klub Aseko Rysowia Rzeszy. Proszę Państwa, na początek wybierzemy drużynę marzeń finałowego turnieju. Nagrodę dla najlepszego liberu imprezy wręczy dyrektor zarządu infrastruktury sportowej w Krakowie. So, Closing ceremony of the 2016 CEV Dennis Bank Volleyball Champions League. And we're going to start with the individual presentations going to those members of the Dream Team. And they will be starting with the Best Libero Award. There'll be an award for second best middle blocker, best middle blocker, second best outside spiker, best outside spiker, best opposite, best setter and MVP. Best Libero, though, goes to Jenny Krebenikov, the French international libero at Cucina Lube Civitanova. Twenty-six years of age, he will turn ahead of the Olympics, and many feel that the potential for France to do something very special there in Rio de Janeiro after they won in the World League. Best libero in the French League back in 2011. He won the French Cup. And he's also been a championship winner in Italy, of course. Two-time German Cup winner when he played for Friedrich Schaffen. But he's keeping his waiting here. making his way out onto the court. First Libro at the European Championship and at the World Championship in 2014 and 2015, respectively. So he has been a player on the rise throughout his career. MVP in the French League as well back in 2012. But Look out for him at the Olympics. Nagrodę wręcza wiceprezes Aseko Rysowi Rzeszów Bartosz Szurski, a drugim najlepszym środkowym bloku wybrany został Winner then of the second best middle blocker award, Sebastian Sole, the Argentine international, playing for Trentino Diatek. And he's out a little quicker than Grabenikov. Won the Italian Championship last year, won the Super Cup in Italy in 2013. Also started out his career in native South America. He manages to pick up an individual award here. The award for the best middle blocker will be presented by 
So now the award for the best middle blocker. We go to a man who's been at his club since 2014. He's played in Poland for Jestrembe Wegiel. And then moved across to Ryszowie Jeshov in 2014. Russell Holmes is the best middle blocker of the final four here in Krakow. So something for those home fans who have been so superb in cultivating the atmosphere here at the Tower and Arena to really cheer about. The award for the second best outside spiker will be presented by Mr. Wiesław Ptaszek and Loplet's president. So the award for the second best outside spiker goes to a player. Been with Trentino since the start of this season after playing for top Latina, Arkas Ichmir in the past as well, Jacques Kecieri Korsle, Parovola Piacenza, amongst others. It is Tina Urnaut, the Slovenian international. Won the best outside spiker award at the European Championships last year. He has an award to go alongside that as he enjoys his best years in the latter years, one would imagine, of his career. The award for the best outside spiker will be presented by Mr. Jerzy Cyprus, Marshal's officer of the Podkarpacki Voivodeship. So the best outside spiker, I don't think there are going to be too many surprises here for the man who picks up the award. Picked it up a year ago. And he picks it up again here in Krakow. Wilfredo Leon is a new cousin. Wilfredo Leon, still only 22 years of age. So much further success still to come, one feels. The award for the best opposite will be presented and the award for the best opposite is another man who picked up this award last year. MVP of the Champions League back in 2012 when Zenit Kazan picked up their second of their now four titles. But he was the best opposite in 2015, Maxim Mihailov. his ball straight into the Zenit fans. Mihailov, 
Szanowni Państwo, Panie i Panowie, drużyna marzeń musi mieć znakomitego rozgrywającego. The award for the best setter will be presented by Mr. Ahmed Metsu Ersoy, Dennis Bank AGCO. So just two awards to go, the best setter and then the MVP. And Simone Gianelli of Trentino Diatec. MVP in the Italian League last year. Best setter at the European Championships in 2015. Managing to put the disappointment of losing out on the title here behind him to come out and collect this individual award. A bitter pill to swallow, losing in the breaker after leading by two sets to zero. But Gianelli, another player with an extraordinary future ahead of him. And he just about forces a smile there. To conclude this part of the ceremony, we will present the most valuable player award. The award will be presented by Mr. Alexander Borici, CEV President. Szanowni Państwo, Pani i Panowie najlepszym, najbardziej wartościowym graczem tegorocznych finału w Szatkarskiej Ligi Mistrzów wybrany został Wilfredo Leone z Second year in a row, he's been the best spiker and the MVP. Wilfredo Leon is fast becoming one of, if not the hottest commodity in World Volleyball. He completes our dream team. Krabenikov is the best libero. Soli and Holmes, the best blockers. Urnaut and Wilfredo Leon, the best spikers. Nixim Mihailov, the best opposite. Simone Gianelli, the best setter. And MVP for the second year in a row. Wilfredo Leon. Time now for the medals to be presented. And all three teams will make their way out into the main arena and take up their steps on the podium.
the Trentino players undoubtedly the the more disappointed at least the players from Cipitanova come out onto the bottom step of the podium having won their match today the Trentino a two sets to zero lead they had over Zenit Kazan but they were not able to see it through So first up, third place team, Cucine Lube Civitanova of Italy. And they will collect the bronze medals. First man to receive his is Ivan Milkovic, part of that 2002 winning team from Cucine Lube. No repeat this time round, but they did pick up a bronze medal. Rebenikov already receiving decoration. Podraskanin, one of the more important members of the squad, alongside Clement Sebulc. Reserve libero Simone Parodi. Enrico Cesta picks up his award alongside the hugely experienced Antonio Corvetta. Becca Christensen. Receives his award as well. Dragan Stankovic awaits his. Osmani Juan Torarena picks up another bronze. He had several titles with Trentino as well, of course, to remember. Alessandro Fe and William Pridi collect theirs. And their coach, Lenini, collects his bronze medal after they managed to come through an extraordinary encounter which went the distance earlier today up against the host, Soseko Reshovia Zheshov. Silver medalists, second place, going to Trentino Diatek, a hugely disappointed squad, especially after well, so much opportunity was extended their way in that final. Their fans have stayed in. And they will celebrate this achievement. Filippo <laughs> Lanza. The captain will be the first to receive his award. Massimo Colacci, I think, can feel aggrieved, a little aggrieved, that he didn't pick up the Pes Libro award. Had a superb performance in both games. Oleg Antonov. We haven't seen the last of him. Tiziano Mazzone came on and did ever so well. Georgi Bratayev very nearly changed things around with his serving. Carlo De Angelis is there as well. Mita Tsoritz. Had a massive performance in the semi-final. Couldn't quite follow it up with an equal one in the next round. Simon van der Voorde, Tina Unaut and Daniele Mazzone all there to collect their awards as well alongside their coach, Stojvic. So close. But in the end overwhelmed by a team that will not recognize when they are beaten. And Zenit Kazan up onto the podium to celebrate.
Their reign in Europe continues. Andrei Ashev, their captain, receiving the first of the medals. And then Matty Anderson collecting yet another in the colours of Zenit Kazan. Great performances from both their Libros, Teodor Salpolov, the Bulgarian, and Alexei Verbov of Russia. Alexander Butko wins his second Champions League title after picking up a first with Lokomotiv and Novosibirsk back in 2013. Alexei Spiridonov stands there alongside him. Kovchak came off the bench and did a great job as setter yesterday, not so much today. After suffering a niggling injury, it was Butko who was called upon to guide them home in sets three, four and five. Alexander Kutseliuk is there. Alexei Verbov already receiving his award. Vladislav Babichev, Maxim Mihailov, Viktor Polyatev and Ivan Demakov who came on to play a big part, but not a biggest part, as Wilfredo Leon. And, well, for Vladimir Elekno, a third Champions League title as a trainer. He won two as a player, and he'll be looking to guide Russia to back-to-back -to -back gold medals in Rio later this year. His achievements as a coach continue to see swelling trophy cabinets wherever he goes. So time for Alexander Boricic to award the winner's trophy. A fifth year in a row that Russia have secured this title after Italian domination in the past. It is Zenit Kazan who will hold aloft the title after the photos have been made. The celebrations can now start. Zenit Kazan become the first team in Champions League history to win the title for a fourth time. They defend their crown and with the way that they won the Russian League as well this year, who would bet against them being back here in a year's time, equaling the record set by Trentino of winning three titles in a row. They are the dominant force in European volleyball for yet another year. And Vladimir Alekno guides his charges to success one more. It concludes an extraordinary Champions League season yet again with Russian champions on the podium. And we will be joining you next year when it all gets underway again.
Yeah. 